What's going on, folks? Antoine here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the streaming service Sundance Now. Um, in this video, I'm going to be taking you guys through the pricing, the device availability, its features, and most importantly, its content. Now, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, as I will be doing um, streaming service reviews every Wednesday. And hopefully, uh, you know, I can introduce you guys to a streaming service that you never heard of. You know, it's a little, tons of streaming services out there. So if, you know, my main objective is to find a way for you guys to have access to content you don't have to pay for. Get what you like and not have to pay for it or pay a reasonable price for it. And, you know, at the same time, I still want to show people that there are other alternatives out there if you are willing to pay. All right, folks, so the first thing we're going to start off with is what's the difference between Sundance Now and the Sundance TV app? All right, so all right, Sundance TV. Sundance TV is an app that you can only access and watch content if you are currently subscribed to a cable or satellite provider. Now, Sundance Now you can ask you can access that as a standalone app. You don't need to be linked to a cable provider. All you need to do is just sign up, create a login, of course, enter your payment information, um, and start watching content. You know that's the difference between Sundance TV app and the Sundance TV now. It's similar to HBO Go and HBO Now, right? Exactly the same as that. All right, folks. So to start off, we're going to get into the pricing. So going down here Sundance currently only has two um, pricing tiers you can get the yearly membership at $59.99 per year and this big $4.99 right here you know it's, it could be misleading for some people um, you're not going to pay $4.99 per month that's what it breaks down to for the $59.99 price you got to look at that fine print and they also offer a monthly membership at six ninety nine per month. Um, that fine print says the same thing, six ninety nine per month. And now they are currently offering a free seven day trial, but um, I believe they are still offering a free thirty day trial if you if if you use the promo code Sundance Now Thirty, and you need to enter this promo code before you select your membership after you select your membership you can try contacting them to um, enter your promo code but do it before you sign up that way you get the free 30-day trial now let's take a look at device availability so they're available on most popular streaming devices iPhone Apple TV Android Roku and Fire Fire TV Fire Stick now they also are available on Chromecast now to use it on Chromecast um, if you're in a Google Chrome browser just open up your options and hit the cast button and any supported devices is going to pop up in the cast options now make sure that um, both devices are on the same network right so if you're going to cast from your web browser um, because you can't watch the content from your web browser just make sure your desktop or laptop is on the same network as your air tv mini or android player any device that has the chromecast capability um, vizio tvs have chromecast capabilities um, same thing with your phone or your tablet or your iphone make sure it's on the same network that way you can use the chromecast feature all right so next thing we want to get into is some of the features um now sundance now is 100 percent ad free you don't have to watch any commercials now when it comes to content let me go ahead and switch this screen um, i know you guys tired of looking at it so 100 percent um ad free now when it comes to content resolution most of their content is in 720p and they do say they have some older shows that are in 480p now if you're not familiar with TV resolution I think um, if you're not too picky you can you can be content or be satisfied watching a 720p 
TV show or a movie. But when it comes to 480, 480 is not high definition at all. It's not high definition at all. So you might have an issue with 480 if you're real particular about the content resolution, especially if you're watching it on a 4K TV. It might look kind of crappy, but again, it's all you know. It's all about the content, right? All right. So next thing we're gonna get into is the content and the content features. Now this is a a niche, what I consider a niche genre. Um, streaming service or not niche but just on demand only in a sense that it does not offer live tv you're not going to have any sports no you know no hbo or anything like that it's just strictly sundance content and along with other shows right other shows and movies but sundance does offer original content they have exclusive content as well and they do say that new content is added weekly so they have everything from comedies to dramas true crime series um, foreign language domestic film festival favorites now if you're not familiar with Sundance you have the Sundance Film Festival where you know Oscar nominated uh, content comes from um, it's just it's just a big deal I believe it's been around since the what, 1940s something like that you know Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been a while for quite some time. It's a very popular film fest. Now, also, when it comes to using Sundance now, it's only available in the U.S. and Canada only. So if you're outside those territories, you won't be able to access it, but they do say that they are working on making it um, available globally. They're working on making it available globally, folks, so let's get into some of the the content type features and then we're gonna just browse through the library and uh, take a look at what they got so uh, a cool thing about this streaming service is you can leave an actual review now be careful when you going down there looking at the review because some people may put some spoiler makers some spoiler you might have some spoiler alerts in there right some people one comment I seen they was you know just breaking down the story you know I had to instantly look away so be mindful if you're looking at the review section all right and you can also re re as a member you can leave a review as well now another feature is my list of course if you want to add something to your list it's just like adding it to your favorites you just click on that it's going to add it to your list that way you can easily find it across all devices so if I add something to my list on my desktop it's going to be available on my Roku um, that same show is going to be available on my um, Fire TV list, my Android list, or whatever. You know, it's going to be available on my account in my list. Now, when it comes to searching, you can search actor, director, um, movie genre, TV show genre. So you can search for thrillers, um, whatever, drama, comedy. It's, it's, it's going to show you. All right? Now, you know, if you're not familiar with um, streaming at all, um, because again, this app does, this streaming service does have exclusive content, but some of this content can be accessed for free through other platforms. So before you sign up, uh, you know, if you're just signing up for a TV show or uh, a couple of movies you've seen, do a search on your Roku player. Just search for that movie, like The Trials of Kate McCall. That's available free on Pluto TV. Um, Spun is free. A uh, couple other shows, Monster is free. You know, uh, Open Windows, that's available to watch for free. Um, so, you know, just if you're just signing up for a show or a couple movies, you know, just do a Roku search. That way you possibly save, you some, save yourself some money. All right, so let's get into the content. So it's really not that much to it, but we're going to start at um, the home screen with the series. So, I mean, they, they do have exclusive original series that's only, only on this platform, you know. So um, the, the Preppy Murder. You know, like I said, they have true crime now. True crimes, that is 100% my drama. I love documentaries, true crimes, thrillers, um, horror, 
suspense, you know. I just like that type of stuff. Um, dramatic movies, things like that. So uh, let's just go down here. So let's let's search documentaries. Now, if you're the type of person, like, I'm not really particular when it comes to content itself, like a particular show. I'm just particular when it comes to genres. Right? So it could be, I don't care who's in the movie. If it's a thriller, I'm going to check it out. Um, it could be a C-budget, low-budget um, thriller. I, I always, I'm going to check it out, you know. So it didn't let nothing show up in documentaries for series uh, but you know what let's see here maybe I spelled it wrong all right let's go over the documentaries and you know I'm here on my desktop but I mean the picture quality is great let's see if I could get away with maybe playing not Aileen um, that's based on that movie monster that's if you guys are familiar with that movie Charlize Theron was in monster so Aileen that's the real story. You can watch the real story and you can watch the movie. Um, crazy story, by the way. Crazy story. So documentaries, if you're in the documentaries, let's see how much. Now, one thing they don't have, they don't say how much um, content they have. Like HBO Max said they had, they coming out with 10,000 hours worth of content. BT Plus had, uh, I believe it's what, 7,500 hours worth of, or maybe it was, yeah, 1,000 hours worth of content. Um Quibi, 7,500 hours worth of content. Um, Disney Plus, 15,000 hours. So um, they didn't say how much content they have on here, but they do. They did say that they rotated. And, you know, just going through here. I mean, it's a couple titles on here. Guarantee you know, enough to, to keep you busy for a couple days. This is 78 minutes, you know, add float. And you can also write a review. We already said that. Uh, right now, I'm just browsing, folks. The review is pretty much over. You know, typically at the end, I just browse through the content. You know, if you're still watching, maybe you will see something that you will want to check out. All right. Just going over it here. Um, let's see what we got here. History and politics. Not too much in that category. Foreign. What is this? Look at this. That's that's obviously a guy, right? The Constitution. Hmm, that's like that could be interesting. The vicious homophobic attack on a professor brings him into sudden contact contact with a Serbian couple living in his building. But while the wife nurses his wounds, the her policeman husband provokes the professor's own deep seated ugly biases and hmm. Hmm, that can be a, a interesting thing. I remember it's, it's a movie out there with I think it's Robert De Niro. He was this guy neighbor. Uh, was it Ethan Hawke in that movie? I forgot, but uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. But you, you know, you see here we got related content. Uh, dang. Now I need to know what's the name of that movie. It's either Robert De Niro or Al Pacino. Let's just go through here. Awakenings was a good movie. But that's just a, this is a different... Hide and Seek was a crazy movie. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. That was a pretty pretty good movie. Maybe it wasn't Robert. I know Robert De Niro been in a lot more movies with this than this. But anyway, I forgot the name of the movie, but uh just a thought. You see right here, we got related content and just going down. Worth every minute, wonderful acting. 
disappointed, touching, and heartfelt, beautiful, well done. Now, they do say when you write a review, you can't just delete it. You have to contact them to get your review removed, right? So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, related content, a teacher, what's that about? Oh, one thing I want to mention, folks, is if you sign up to a streaming service through Amazon Prime, iTunes, Google Play, or the Roku channel, that's where you need to go to cancel. And that's something they mentioned, you know, you can't cancel it. Now, before we get into that, if you sign up for any streaming service through Amazon Prime, that's the only place you can watch it. When you when you add well when you add the Prime Channel, that's the only place you can watch it. You can only watch it as a Prime Channel. You can't watch it anywhere else. You're paying the regular price, but you can only watch it on that one platform. So, you know, unless Prime Video is your number one platform, go ahead and sign up for. It. Otherwise, I would say sign up directly from the website. That way, you have you have more freedom to watch it on multiple devices and that's another thing uh, this being an on demand um, streaming service only there there really is no limit on how many streams you can have at once at least that's something they didn't mention in the support section they didn't say but you know usually streaming services like this it's anywhere between five and unlimited right right now I, I check I was streaming on my desktop my cell phone and my Roku at the same time didn't have any issues alright so let's see what else we got so I mean folks that's about it um, I know I'm just kind of toggling the screen but let me if you still watch it let me know what type of content you like like are you into movies or are you into TV shows um, and the reason I don't like TV shows is because you, if it's a brand new TV show, you might never get to the end. For example, I was watching this one TV show called Chosen on Sony Crackle back in the day. They never got to the end. They just quit making episodes. I was highly disappointed. Like, how you going to, I'm really in this show. I mean, that was like one of the first shows I really got into. And they, they just stopped making episodes. So now I just watch movies, you know, or I'll watch an old series, a series with, you know, like Seinfeld. We don't really have a storyline, but like um, series that don't have a, a ending after one episode. Like I could watch Law and Order, things like that, but if it's a, the storyline is continuing, you know, I just can't do it. I just can't do it, you know. Um, but I definitely want to get in back into TV shows. I know it's they they it is some TV shows out there like that that you know um, conclude the show at the end of that one show, All right? But chosen that chosen C H O S E N. Look it up, folks. What's this? The sorrow and the pity. Marcel Ophelus, Ophelus, something documented about the French government collaboration with Gart Germany, Germany during Nazi occupation is one of the most. Hmm, hmm. This, this could be an interesting documentary. I reviewed, uh, I reviewed the streaming service. Oh, the Smithsonian. Now that's a great. If you're into documentaries, check that out. You know, the Smithsonian Channel Plus, they have great content. Um, their documentaries, I mean, it's this is what this is what I like. This is what they documentaries is about. It was mostly archive footage with narration. It wasn't too much narration because the archive footage still had audio on them. They was playing archive clips and people that was alive during that time talking about it or experts during that time was talking about it. You know, so Smithsonian Channel Plus, a uh, few in the documentaries, check them out. Um, Gaia, Gaia, couple of documentary type streaming services. Gaia, Smithsonian Channel Plus, and uh, 
Um, dang, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Let's see. It's uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's in my YouTube channel uh, under my live previews. But that is it, folks. Uh, remember, hit that subscribe button if you're learning something. Uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.